<laughs> so I am getting ready to put some stuff on the grill but I wanted to show because some people have never tried grilled asparagus um so I'm gonna show y'all how I do it and I've just rinsed my asparagus and now I'm gonna just I put it back on the little plastic bag that you know you get from the grocery store and I'm gonna cut it I hope y'all can see what I'm doing but I'm gonna cut like probably up to here because you don't want all that nasty shit at the bottom so I'm gonna move the rubber band a little bit lower so I can keep it all in a a bunch and they don't go flying everywhere. So I'm gonna cut like this much off right here. You don't want that stringy, nasty shit in your, in your mouth while you're trying to enjoy your food, right? Okay, so I got these, uh, I think they're called spare tips and I'm just gonna put them over here. Lay them down for a second. See how I got these in a bunch still? That way I don't have a big ass mess. Say hi as you come in. Make sure you share, share, share eh, eh, my video. Thank you very much. I'm not a singer, but it's okay. Because I can cook my ass off. <laughs> Stop. Don't even let me get myself started now. I could totally be my own friend. I'm just saying. Okay. So now I got these. I can just toss them in the trash. You know what I'm saying? But for now, I'm just going to leave that right there. I'm going to bring these over here. I got all my gloves ready. See, I got my gloves. I don't like getting my hands messy. So I'm going to move these over to the other side. I'm going to grab me a pair of gloves. Put these in my apron pocket. Because I'm wearing an apron. And then I'm going to slide this over here, just like so, just like so, just like music. Boom, 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 boom. Got your gloves on. Say hi as you come in. I don't know who's watching, but hello, because I can't see my phone right now because it's facing the other way. I probably should have just, you know what I should have did? Never mind, I'll do it next time, it's too late. Okay, so now I take these off, these rubber bands, and I just lay these with up whichever direction I want to fold, because I'm going to fold this foil up. If y'all ain't ever had no grilled asparagus, man, now is the time, because Gigi, Grandma, Swain is showing you today, okay? So now I'm going to take some eyelets oil, some extra virgin olive oil, and I'm just going to drizzle right on top. And this is one of my secret seasonings for asparagus. You wouldn't think, right? So you're going to sprinkle some of that zatarans, right? And then this is another secret. People be passing this up. It's lemon pepper. You get that little zing. It is bomb. You don't have to overdo it. A little bit of lemon in there. And then I'm going to take some of this um, carne asada seasoning. And I'm going to put a little bit on there as well. You don't need a lot of seasoning. Because you know what? Pretty much I like I like my veggies plain. But, you know, I'm a southern girl. So we like to season shit up. So then mix it all around. Just like so. As neatly as possible. All right, then, I hope I got enough foil for it. I should have enough foil. I'm gonna turn it down. So then you're just gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it up. If you don't have, if you didn't get enough foil the first time, I'm gonna take my gloves off. Then you can always um, just add some more foil to, and you take it like this, kind of squeeze it together. And having nails don't help because then you're poking holes all up in the foil as you're trying to, and then just seal it up. What you would do is take it, put those two pieces together, line it like that, and then fold it, you know, nice and neat because I like to do shit nice and neat. But I can't right now because of my nails. 
All right, so we're just gonna fold this. Just make sure, you know, when you go to turn it over on the grill, your shit ain't gonna fly out everywhere, okay? And then you're gonna fold it over here. Just seal it up. Just like so. And then when you get it to the grill is when you're gonna poke like little holes into the foil and you just let it sit. You can put it on the top shelf, the bottom, whatever. You just let it sit and then you're gonna flip it. You know, whenever you think your veggies are done, it don't matter. I mean, you could probably leave them on for a few minutes. They're gonna taste good, maybe al dente. If you like them soggy, then cook them longer. It's your shit, so just use your, your best judgment, you know? All right, so that's that. I'm gonna um, get my steak out and stuff and show y'all how I do my steak. Shit is boom. But I'm gonna um, make a take two so I can have my stuff ready. I already got my seasonings ready. So, hello, Brooklyn. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Let me flip my camera around. Hi, babe. Maybe I'm not doing a take two. I'll just get the. Where's my tartar? Where's Trini Trins? I'm getting my steak out. I'm making a steak for Booty because it's his last day home. My phone is hot. I think I'm going to do, um, shit. I think I'm going to do some chicken. Some chicken, too. What's going on? What's going on, boo-boo head? All right, just hang tight while I get my steak. I like to drain it because I can't, I don't know why. Like when you get meat from the grocery store, at first it, it don't have a lot of blood on it, right? And then like you'll freeze it or you'll bring it home and shit. Suddenly it's got like mad blood. I can't stand that shit. My son's like, ma, that's flavor. No, the fuck it ain't. That ain't no damn flavor. That's gross. Hence, you know how your chicken is done is if you poke it and it's clear. It bleeds clear. If you poke it and you see white shit come out and it gets all psh, white, then you know that shit is not done. So I'm just getting my steak out. Here, so I can wash my hands. sitting here making some food because my son is going back not to Cali but he's going back tomorrow and so I'm making him a nice dinner with some homemade cheesecake and I gotta put my gloves on no glove no love <laughs> hey ma hey Mary Susan I never say your name like that. I just said it because I see it written down like that. Hi, Mom. I just showed how to do asparagus. So now I'm going to show y'all how I marinate my steak. Y'all don't want to miss it, man. I'm telling you. If you like steak, get yourself a nice sirloin because they stay tender. The key to cooking a a sirloin really good is to have the flame on high leave it on one side for you know so you see like it getting a little bit dark on the edges flip it and do the same amount of time on the other and you get yourself a, a medium well steak if you like it rare then do it less but I like to have a little blackness on my meat you know what I'm saying <laughs> I 
I crack myself up sometimes. I can't. Soon, man, soon. I swear, I'm a hermit. I'm just a, I'm a crazy hermit. I don't leave my house. I need to, though. I just got my knee drained. Um, Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday morning. I had just got my knee drained. All right, so I'm going to get my steak. I'm going to show y'all this pretty piece of meat right here. You see this? This is a sirloin. Woo, it's going to see how it's already starting to break apart. That's because it's tender. Sirloin steak is tender. Okay, so I'm putting this in my bowl. Damn it, I want to put you back on my thing. Hold on. Let me put you back on this thing over here. Or I can leave you here too. Hold on, I need to get something to push you up. So you can see what I'm doing. Let me go work. So I'm just gonna show you, okay? Um, first of all, you're gonna put some olive oil. Like a nice amount so you don't, your meat don't stick to the grill. And then some vinegar. And do this with your chicken. All you need is some olive oil, vinegar, and some lemon pepper, and boom, you got yourself some good ass chicken. Okay? I have people say, What did you put on this chicken? How did you? It's lemon pepper. <laughs> Yeah. Sis, listen. I have degenerative arthritis in my knee. And they say you only get two replacements. Two knee replacements in your life. I don't know if that just meant in my lifetime or does that mean with my health insurance? <laughs> I don't know. But that's what they told me. So they trying to make this one last as long as possible. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm suffering. Yeah, I'm a, little, I'm a little cuckoo sometimes. Meanwhile, I am suffering here with swollen ass freaking leg. Some days it's worse than others. That that's for sure. That's pretty sure. Okay, now we're gonna take some adobo. If you don't have no adobo, get out your garlic salt. Oh, pour it in, pour it in, just like that. Baba, steak, steak, pull it in, okay? Then I got some of this Brazilian steakhouse. I don't usually use this, but the key is really the, um, this shit right here, the carne asada, okay? So this is the Brazilian steakhouse. Usually I use the Montreal steak seasoning, but the best part is the, you know, the, the vinegar and the olive oil. Christine! I didn't get it replaced yet. You only get two. <laughs> They're trying to make this one last as much as possible before I get one. They want my original knee to stay in as long as possible. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's fine. We're making steak. You missed the asparagus, Christine. You missed the asparagus. Okay. So that's that. That's all I want on that. I'm going to take a little bit of Worcestershire. A little bit. I'm going to put a lot of it right up in here. The main ingredients is the vinegar, the oil. Really, you don't need this stuff here, the carne asada. You can put as much as you want on anything you're cooking because it's not salty. Oh, my God. But the flavor is bomb. So I'm just going to pour a whole bunch of that shit up in there. Look what I got. Lemon juice. You could put lemon on anything and that shit is going to be bomb. Lemon juice. Okay. Now, I'm going to rub this baby down. Smack it up. Rub it down. Oh, no. Smack it up. Flip it. Rub it down. And then I'm going to stick this in the fridge for about 15 minutes or so. 
and let this just soak up all the flavor and you will so taste it. Listen, if you don't put vinegar on your food before you cook it on the grill, try it next time and tell me how you liked it. Because when I tell you that the vinegar on steak, chicken, when you're grilling, it's bomb. I mean, you will get people like, when you cooking out again? Can I get some of that? You gonna bring me a plate? <laughs> So here's my my steak and over here we got our asparagus seasoned and flipped okay so now I'm gonna take my steak and stick it in my hetchafrater that's what my son used to call it when he was little a hetchafrater <laughs> I swear I could be my own best friend. I could just really have a conversation by myself and answer and laugh. That's right. Do me, baby. Yes, Christine, what you know about that girl? What you know about that? Huh? What you know about that? <laughs> So that's that. I'm going to make some baked potatoes. I'm going to like rub butter and put some and wrap them up in foil, poke some holes psh, psh. Mm. right in the oven. And I got, I'm making a cheesecake too. I might come back for the cheesecake. Homemade cheesecake. The kind you bake. Christine, you tripping me out. <laughs> okay. Christine is down. Okay, girl. <laughs> that is so cute, man. All right, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back. Let me clean up my little area here, and I'm going to do a, another video when I go outside and grill my steak so I can show you exactly what to do if you don't know. <laughs> Bye. Hefty. Jay, I hope y'all still here. I love you. I love my sisters, man. I love y'all so much. I miss you. All right, Christina. Can I call you Christina? Chris. I like Christine, though. That's, ooh. Remember that movie, Christine, with the, the black car? Yeah, that was scary to me when I was little. And Cujo. That dog scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I was scared of dogs after that. My poor dog got poisoned by some uh, people that my, I guess my stepdad didn't get along with, you know. You know how the streets is how about that. <laughs> my poor dog, Kelty. Aww. All right, let me go. See if my mind just goes, Psh. I got ADHD or something. Something ain't right. Bye. I think it's gonna be fun. I just flipped it, and I shouldn't have to flip it again, and it's gonna be perfect. It's a lot darker in person, but yeah, this is going to be perfect. It's gonna end up being like a medium well. So it'll be, it's not going to be bloody. It's going to be like a little pink. Just slightly pink on the inside is how I like it. Because I don't like to eat raw meat. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that's that. And um, I don't think I'm going to make big potatoes. I think I'm going to make, um, I got these little tiny potatoes that I'm going to make. And then I switch the burgers. Seasoned burgers. Always season your hamburger meat. Please, please, just put it in a bowl and season that shit up before you make your patty. Please, please, and thank you. Yes, yes. It's going down. All right, now I'm going to close this bad boy so that shit can cook really good. Ow. 
see ya in a minute. That thing's about to get caught in the web. Something just got caught in this web, and that spider was going to town. You, ooh, you about to get caught, little guy. Look at that. This big ass moth, he gonna get caught too. Yo, where is that spider? I just saw him. He came out and got something and <laughs> wrapped it up real quick. And then left. Oh, you, you about to get caught. He's gonna get fed tonight. So here we have our grilled asparagus. Yummy, yum yum. And there's our steak. And a hamburger that six ate half of and decided that he doesn't like it anymore. But there is our yumalicious steak. Perfect. It is perfect. It's tender, it's not overcooked, and I made these little tiny little potatoes. My son's like, oh yeah. I was like, oh, I could have used those for something else, damn it. And I'm thinking like a stew or a roast. <laughs> like, yeah, you can eat mashed potatoes. I'm like, no, no, dude, I'm not gonna peel all those little potatoes. And he's like, no, like mashed potatoes with the skin, you know, country style. I said, no, we only do that with red potatoes. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so I'm about to um, fry my son some pork chops because this is what I do. This is what I do, okay? And um, make cheesecake. So I will post pictures of that.